What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. So today, <laughs> you took off on me. Where are you going? Oh, you right, bring it back, bring it right, back. Right. Guys, right. today we are out here at a really cool place. Because we're at Carson Springs, yes, right? This Carson Springs Wildlife Conservation yeah. Foundation. They this do a lot of sick. really cool stuff here. And if you don't know, this, this is, is Max. It. Yeah, what's up? So, I should have introduced myself. Yeah. I apologize. I didn't do that at all. So today uh, we got uh, Julia with me and then we also, uh, came up and met with Max. So Max is one of my friends uh, in the animal world. You may know him on Instagram, because your Instagram is just your name, right? Max Strong? Yeah. So People check don't him out on that's my real name, but it actually is. I mean, it's a it's a strong name. It's yeah. pro okay. powerful. The, the crazy part about it too is my mom's maiden name is King. So my mom's maiden name is King and my dad's last name is Strong. strong. So I'm really sick. strong King. Strong King? You know? Strong King? Yeah, so oh, okay. It didn't translate to my actual <laughs> physique, but it worked out. So guys, Max invited us because there's an Wait, animal. Stop, stop, stop. You can't okay, I can't see. Yeah. You're gonna see him. There's an animal that I've, I've been obsessed with for the past probably, ten years. That's I've, a lot of years, bro. I've, I've been obsessed with this animal, but no one has them. They're really rare, especially in private collections or a collection where you can actually interact with the animal. Most of them are all at like AZA Zoo, so it's all behind bars. But I, I want to see what this is. Wait, so show them what's behind you first. Oh, you. You're overlooking this squad. I'm going over here. for one specific <laughs> animal, guys, but they have so much here at Carson Springs. I mean, here's a. Is this a pair of hyenas? Yeah, this is a pair. Pair of spotted hyenas. Male. I mean, take a look at these. They actually breed hyenas here, and you can tell oh, they so are. The, the really active one right here, this is actually the female. Her name's Scarlet. Uh -huh. Yeah, and in the hyena world, um, females are the ones that are the most dominant. Um, they're larger, they have more testosterone than the males even do. So that's why you'll see her be so protective when we walk up because she's the one that rules like this whole area. So interesting. Yeah, a lot of um, human females like the way that hyena hierarchies are set up and I kind of <laughs> understand. Cool, so I'm kind of one-sided here. Go to here. the left, go to the left. Go, I'm trying to, I don't want you to see it. You don't want to see it. So if you look at the title and the thumbnail, we're working with a Indian rhino today. And okay, this is- Okay, but stop, stop. You're walking too I, far. You're walking, okay. I okay, wanna this see. Is good. This is good. See. Okay, what are we- so Just gonna, tell them what, tell, let uh, them know. All right, guys. Indian rhino called Henry. And Henry's what, 39 years old? 39 years old. Henry is probably the oldest Indian rhino um, in- In captivity? In the, I mean, I think in captivity for sure, but maybe even oh. the world. Okay. So it's impressive. That's an old rhino. And it's Indian rhinos life. are the smaller of the two because there's that. The, they're, yeah, they're the African smaller. rhinos are huge, but the Indian rhino, I mean, still is nothing to mess with. I mean, they're the size of a giant cow with a horn. It's like a small tank. Yeah. And, an African and they're armored. It's like a large <laughs> tank. But either way you look at it, they're still a tank. Yeah. And one thing you, you know about their armor, you've seen, like, well, I guess they're armor these guys. Yeah. yeah. So their plates it literally looks like he's wearing like shoulder pads and actual pieces of armor. Like he's a knight from like medieval times. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. It's so, so cool. sick. I'm, I'm, so I still haven't seen this animal guys. I've seen pictures on his Instagram <laughs> and they're keeping me from looking at this. And I'm going to turn the corner now because I really want to see this animal. Oh, look at him go. Dude, my man is munching. Is look sick. at Henry. He's so he's staring right at us. chilling over there. So we're not gonna be able to pick it up on the GoPro cause I can't zoom, but I'm going <laughs> to, Wow. We'll walk over there. We'll walk. This is awesome. And again, He's cool even from afar like that. Though, yeah, right? just to be able to see him. But the reason we wanted to come up here too is we can actually get in there and we could feed him. So this is a really rare opportunity and definitely one I couldn't pass up. So Julie and I made the trip up to Gainesville last night because we're like, hey, we are not missing this opportunity. We want to come up, hang out with Max and check out Henry because Dude, he's gigantic. Oh my god. And we say he's smaller than the African rhinos, but he's still huge. He's still like, a beast. He looks like he's probably five and a half feet tall on his back. Yeah, he's huge. Wow. Oh wow. And we Look notice he's missing guy. the horn. Did that just fall off or is that something yeah, that you guys recently, do here? Yeah, it recently fell off actually. So just as he got older and stuff, wear and tear, different things, um, they just kind of walked out here one day and it was off. Yeah. But it doesn't matter wow. for a rhino like this in captivity. Um, yeah, because he's not no, defending no. himself yeah, against any no. others. He, he doesn't need his horn for anything, and it's just a mixture of old age and Henry being Henry. Wow. Oh my God. He's gigantic. That's crazy. And he's just chewing on his hay, guys. Get you guys close up there. Oh, you're kidding me. Now with rhinos, they actually remind me of like Jurassic Park when they're in there with the Triceratops and you see the guy like sitting on the Triceratops, like breathing on him. They're literally, they're probably what the directors got their inspiration from to use for the movie, but they are incredible. <laughs> Words cannot describe like <laughs> Look at, what I'm okay, thinking. Okay, so like the, like I was telling you on the side, you see like the, 
like the shoulder pads. It almost looks like he's oh, a football yeah. player with literal shoulder pads and they move and it's, I don't know. I don't even know the best words to describe him, but he's incredible. He's really neat to see up close like this and I'm glad you guys made it out to check him out. What does he feel like? Is it like You can touch rough? him. You can see this guy. He's got thick skin for sure. Oh, wow. How does he feel, Julia? Explain it to the Tell people how it people feels out He's kind of squishy. Squishy. Yeah. Right here's a You're little gonna squishy. You're going to say squishy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's oh. like, feed oh. me. Oh. <laughs> Henry knows what time it is. This guy <laughs> wants food all of the time. He never stops. Whoa. I guess I wouldn't either what if I was those? a massive rhino. Or are what? Teeth? Yeah, there's your teeth in there. That's sick. Okay, and one cool thing. All right, you see this? Well, it's like a prehensile lip, basically. So it's when all that, that hay and different stuff, when they're feeding and they're grazing and all of that on the ground, they can literally grab it with their, their lip, almost oh. like, like a giraffe would do with their tongue. Like a giraffe has a prehensile tongue, whereas Henry here has basically like a prehensile lip. That's it really allows cool. him to grip and, and grab that food and so cool. make sure he's always eating. He's like, give me show. All right. All right. We can't sit here that much longer yes. without Henry having to eat. So let's feed him. I'm going to take the camera. All right, let's do I'll this. let you guys throw this to him. Henry. He almost has like a, you see that in hippos, like the little teeth, like tusks that come out. Yeah. To like crush, basically. Yeah. Guys, this is incredible. <laughs> he's like, just give me more. And I mean, like I said, he's gigantic. Now, I don't know much about the Indian rhinos, but I know like, like the white and the black rhinos in Africa, like are pretty much close to extinction. Max, do you know where these guys sit on like the i think pretty much across the board every rhino that exists yeah. right now is is very critically um endangered if not you know really really on the verge of extinction um i guess that's kind of the same thing huh critically endangered mm -hmm. and on the verge of extinction but you get the point wow i missed but okay so yeah, one, you, gotta... <laughs> you missed henry's mouth <laughs> it's a big target here oh my and he's god just he's chilling. huge yeah, he shows. All right, so one to your point though, one cool thing about Henry, um, I guess with all the Indian rhinos that are in captivity, they're actually pretty much tracked um, as far as their breeding goes, where they're at, what's going on with them. And I recently came across this um, document that showed like Henry's lineage and whereabouts and everything, and I found out that Henry has seven baby mamas. Seven well, over the course busy. of his life. Henry is quite the ladies' man, which I think is pretty neat. Do you know how many uh, babies he's fathered? Um, I don't know the total number, but I know at least seven. At least seven. Yeah. So you're not only in the presence of a really cool Indian rhino he's right a now. Stud rhino. He is a absolute stud in every sense of the word. The ladies love this guy. And I mean, when you look at this face, how could you not? This is a face that the ladies love. <laughs> Feel this? It's like wood. Yeah. Guys, look at this. So right here where the uh, horn is that's fallen off, it, it does look like a, like a piece of wood that's kind of been broken, which is, yeah. I don't know why people like the horns anyways. I know a lot of like the Asian market likes to think that they can uh, help their manhood if they eat ivory from rhinos or uh, elephants. But I mean, literally it's just, just a giant fingernail. Well, that, and that's one thing I've never understood. I'm gonna steal it real quick. I don't, I don't get why we don't just like all collectively cut our fingernails and like throw them in like, you know, like a Make trash can and collect them, them yeah. over and then like sell that stuff. Like why, why are we coming after rhinos to get our fingernails? Like, I, I don't understand it. Like mine yeah. grow pretty well. I could get a few trimmings over time and hopefully save a few horns. So guys, let's look into that. I want to figure out a way to do that. All he's really caring about right now is getting the carrot and the apples. It is in his mouth. I mean, Henry is awesome. I mean, look at this head. I mean, he, he is gigantic. And it's hard to believe that even African rhinos are bigger. Here, Henry, you want another carrot? But if you're in the Gainesville area, guys, you have to come check out um, Carson Springs Wildlife Rescue because they are definitely a place to, to look at. I mean, they have giant enclosures for all their animals. As you can see, Henry's got a giant paddock here. But even their tigers and big cats, I mean, most, I would say all their animals here are in six to seven times the size enclosures that most places keep their cats at. They really have a love for their animals and you can tell based off the way that one, the animals interact and behave, but also <laughs> the enclosures they have. And Henry's just poking out one some more. He's like, feed me. 
I mean, this literally feels like you're interacting with a dinosaur. And I know we work with a lot of reptiles on our channel, uh, a lot of different crocodiles and animals that were around during that time. But I mean, when you walk, grew up watching Jurassic Park or movies like this, like that, this is kind of what you think of when you think of a prehistoric animal. It's not every day you get to stand next to something that probably weighs three or four tons. Run out of apples for you here, Henry. All right, I'm gonna give his last carrot, guys. He is awesome. We'll see how when he notices I'm out of food. But he's just hanging out. And when you look at these guys, you never like, like it never crossed my mind why people poach these or why they get the horn from them. I mean, it's such a beautiful creature that one day based off everything that humans are doing, I mean, it saddens me that my grandkids are probably never gonna be able to see an animal like this just because of stupid humans nowadays. But I'll tell you what, it's an honor to be in the presence of an animal like this. So I gotta keep remembering to grab the camera and film a little bit because I'm kind of just getting entranced by Henry. I mean, he's sitting here just taking some love of me, petting him, and I'm just enjoying his company. I mean, it's definitely not every day or maybe even a couple times in your lifetime where you're able to get this close to an animal this massive and, I mean, this special. I mean, rhinos are one of the most endangered species on this planet and definitely one that unfortunately isn't gonna be around forever. So having the opportunity to get down here with, with Henry, rub his chin, give him some love and just have him sit here and enjoy it the whole time. I mean, this has been an incredible experience. Definitely one I would not pass up for anything. Yeah, let us know what you think guys about uh, content that's still with animals, but maybe just not reptiles. I mean, probably don't know if I'll be coming back all the time to hang out with Henry, but there, we do have friends with other type of animals that aren't just crocodilians or venomous snakes. So if you guys want to see more of that, I mean, we do a lot with different types of animals. We just don't film it. This is the first time we really wanted to branch off because it's such a impressive moment to hang out with a rhino. Uh, but let us know what you think. Hey buddy. I gotta be careful. I'm kind of getting lulled into a false sense of security here, but even though he doesn't have a horn, he's still a big animal just moving his head around that. It'd give a nice bump if you were to hit me with that. But he's he just wants to enjoy the love. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, Henry's had enough. As you can see, he's over there getting some water. He uh, <laughs> left us with a, a bit of a parting gift. Um, <laughs> I think you would call it a gift. I don't know. He took a, a dump right yeah. in front of us and then walked away. So I think that means it's time for us to go. But he's like, I was done. meeting him. Did you enjoy it? So that was probably the most incredible experience of my life. I know I work with crocodiles, venomous snakes. But for there. some reason, rhinos just have a special place in my heart. It's been an hour just hanging out with Henry, petting him, getting to know him a little bit, and then uh, he dropped a deuce and walked he was away. Loving so. it. Like he was so relaxed when you guys were like petting him on his face. Oh, yeah. It was cool to see. Like he's not always he's just like that. But when you're able to spend a little bit more time and you know, let him know you're not just here for a quick little visit yeah. or whatever, he, he will become more comfortable. So it was neat that he was awesome. You got to see that. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm yeah. glad you enjoyed it at this place. Um, Is all, oh, tell them where we're at. So we're at yes. Carson Springs, but where can they find information? So on? on Instagram and Facebook, it's just Carson Springs Wildlife. Uh, on TikTok now, same thing, Carson Springs Wildlife. Okay. Um, so check them out. Um, you know, you can book tours here on, I want to say Friday, Saturday. Okay. The days you do tours, there's all kinds of things happening for the holidays, Christmas, New Year's. Um, there's always different events popping off. So there's open Sweet. houses twice a year all kinds of opportunities for people to come out here. You guys can feed Henry as well on tours and do different things. So check it out, yeah. Carson Springs Wildlife. So yeah, go go give them a follow guys. If you want to come out here and do, I don't know if you'll be able to feed them, but I, you said you could. Yeah, so no, you'll be able to feed Henry. feed Henry on tours. So if you want to do this guys, go give Carson Springs some love, come out and visit them. But until next time, we'll see you.